Welcome back to part 3 of modeling this um, cool looking sword from Dark Souls. So in this episode we're going to be creating this hilt looking part. So if I take a look at this in SketchUp um, to kind of see what we're going to be dealing with here. It seems that this is going to be a cube. We're going to select those vertexes, scale it down, extrude it out. And then this part right here seems pretty easy too. And then this part right here we'll deal with once we get there. So let's head back into Maya and create a lovely looking cube. Bring that all the way up. And then let's see. Debating whether I should do a scaling kind of thing or just model half of it. I think I'm going to just model half of it. So I'm going to select one of those edges. I'm going to do Control, right click, Edging Utilities, Edging and Split. And then I'm going to select all of those faces and I'm just going to delete them. That way I only just have this side selected. Okay, so let's go into this view and then select those vertexes. And then kind of scale this down. I'm also going to select the face now. Use that same technique. Make sure I have nothing else selected. Um, I'm also going to go out of Discord again because they are very annoying people. Um, extrude this out to about like, let's see, I don't want it to be too huge, but actually, what am I doing? I'm pretty sure it goes to like there, and then it will go in. Silly me. Okay, extrude that down. Uh, kind of explain what I did there actually because I went a bit too fast. Um, with this face selected, I'm going to just do Control E and then I'm just going to hit scale to kind of scale that in a little bit more. So maybe like if we look at here, um, oops. it looks like actually, no, it actually looks like just the top edges are going to be going down. Let's see, I'm going to I'm going to extrude again, then I'm just going to drag that down to about a little piece off there, so like that's probably what it is. And then extrude that out again to about here. I'm going to actually add an edge loop here and extrude this out. Okay, the way we can keep the shape a bit more. Press 5 to go back into wireframe. Actually, no, I don't want that. I'll double click that, control delete. Okay. So that is this piece right here, well at least half of it. So now we're going to be doing this. So I'm debating whether I should make this... I want to see something. If I create a cylinder... One second. Alright, so I actually found a pretty unique, um, interesting way that I learned a long time ago and I forgot about it until just now. So if I create a cylinder here, and if I go to the inputs in my polycylinder 3 in my channel box and change the subdivisions access down to 4, then it will give me this, and I'm also going to rotate this 90 degrees, so... Yep. Holding down J to snap. Um, if I scale this in, it'll give me that shape, which is exactly what I want for this. So, um, I'm actually happy I remembered that, so... I'm going to take this and put this over here. Rotate this 90 degrees, looking at my channel box. Scale this down. Um, and I'm just going to put this here. Oops. Okay, so if I take a look at this, looks like the edges basically make it there, so let's see how we can emulate that. Um, okay, and I want this to be in a little bit too. So this could also be way taller. Okay, that's going to look pretty good actually. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to select those vertex. Sorry for going back and forth. Um, it looks like it just kind of goes, and then it goes bigger. So let's just try and follow my reference image as well as I can. Um, just kind of go to there. So I need those faces. Extrude them out. And then big reveal. Like there. So let's see how that looks. Hmm. Yeah, pretty good. I think I could probably 
select those though and then bring those down just a little bit because I feel like this doesn't rise up that much only a tiny bit so we're going to save again and um, we're just going to do I think we could just actually easily extrude that yep so I'm going to select those faces and actually you know what we're going to just do that thing I did before so I don't have to annoy you guys with flipping back and forth um Whoa. Trying to get in position to look at this piece. Um, maybe rotate this a little bit. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have one extrusion to about here, which is then scaled down quite considerably. And we're going to control E. But then we're going to do that thing where I'm just going to well, scale it in a little bit about there and then extrude this out to like halfway and extrude this out again and then bring that down to like there okay so if I just make that bigger and make my bigger you can kind of see what we've done here I'm gonna harden this edge I should just play harden edge and that way it doesn't give me that weird lighting stuff and I feel like this is a little bit less squished, so I'm going to select it. And also, actually, I'm going to select all those. And I'm just going to scale that in to like that. And then I also feel like it's too long. Did I actually make it longer than I did that? Nope. Okay. So I'm going to select all of it, and I'm just going to scale it in like that. Okay, hope that isn't too small. Actually, maybe it, maybe it would be a bit bigger. Okay, and then I'm also going to take those edges, double click on them, and then drag them out. Perfect. So now, we can duplicate this to the other side. Um, let me check my time here. Okay, um, and one way we're going to do this, I'm just going to save here. Um, we're going to do this like this. So I'm going to select that and we're going to merge uh, this um, combine those. You can click on that or you can go to mesh combine. And then with that, I'm going to center the pivot, freeze the transformation. Actually, yeah, freeze the transformations. And then select press D to change the pivot, hold down V, and then drag it all the way to there so that it's right there. I'm going to select this again, control D, press R, and then we can simply just scale that negative one, and it's the same length. So, oh, one second. If I look in here, I think I'm going to keep it, oh my god, okay, one piece. But let's see, let's take a look at a real one. Um, looks like, yep, alright, we're going to keep it one piece. So, if I go back into Maya here, and select these two, we're going to merge, or combine these. We're going to mesh combine, and we're going to merge these vertices, because right now if we smooth this, it's kind of a little awkward. So, I'm going to select all of those, and then go to merge. Okay, so now let's see what our problem is. I believe this is not connected, so now we're going to do that. Um, I'm not sure, so I'm going to pause. Alright, so I figured out what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, I'm going to go to Mesh Separate. So now, this is the one piece because we had merged it, now these two are separate pieces. So, um, we can smooth these, but then have them like together still. So let's see how we can... Um, work on smoothing this as well. So if I try to, trying to find pictures of a real version, um, it's really hard. Whatever. Let's just uh, go back into my here. Um, just sorry. Let's see if it really keeps its. Whoa, that's pretty cool. 
square-ish shape. Yeah, alright, looks pretty squarey to me. So, we're going to add an edge loop there, and add an edge loop there. Let's see how that looks. Oh wait, we need to add um, one at the top here, about there, and then one there. And I think it's doing something that I feared. Let me just see. Don't think it's going all the way around. One way actually we can check, so I'm actually going to make an edge, a real edge loop instead. Go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop. Loop. I just reset my values. Um, reset Tool. Okay. So now let's see. Okay, that's going all the way around. But then, oh, this is 2. Okay. Press Q, 5. Smooth that again. Looks pretty good. Um, I feel like this though could use some reinforcements. So actually, let's use that edge. Whoops! No, 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 no. Mesh tools. Insert edge loop again. Make sure we have no end gons as well. Put one there, and then put one there, and then let's see that smooth. Looks pretty good. I feel like we could have one in the middle here actually. So. I'm go back to that. Um, you can just click on that as well if you really want to use that. Um, actually, let's let's get it exactly in the middle. Let's select one of these edges. Do Control, right click, Edging Utilities, Edging and Split, and that should split it all the way around. So we can keep that. I just feel like something's being dropped. Maybe we could add one here. I'm gonna select that edge, press G. Select this one and press G, and then let's smooth that. Okay. better. Um, though I also feel like I can select all of those, maybe scale it in, and drag it out. I'm going to try and do the same for this. Scale it in. Let's see how much I scaled it in. I'll actually just drag it out a little bit. Mm. Okay. Now, that looks way, way, way better. Okay, I'm gonna save this, and we're gonna actually smooth that. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna select that. Go to Mesh Smooth. Press G to do it again, and select select everything. Make sure nothing else is smooth. So just press one, and I'm liking that. So now we gotta smooth these. So let's see what we would need to do here probably add one here and at the edge right there yep okay and then what did I just press okay another edge loop there and there and one there would that go all the way around hey it did go all the way around that's helpful okay let's add there. I feel like something weird about that one. The one on the top, I'm gonna press F to focus, seemed like it went all the way around, except not for the bottom. So if I were to just... I see what's happening. Okay. It's, it's doing all the way there and then to there, so... Let's see if that creates any problems when it's smooth, by the way. Nope. Okay. Let me just make another one there then, and another one there, and then let's see our smooth, pressing 3. That looks great. So now we can worry about this whole shenanigan going on. Let's select that edge, and I'm also just going to see um, what happened here. Go back. How old is that? Okay. I'm not sure what I did there, but it looked weird, so I'm just going to go back. Um, so I'm going to add one there. And then... Whoa. There. Sorry for doing this twice. In there. So let's smooth that and see. It looks pretty good. 
Now we gotta worry about this weird looking thing. So make another edge loop. There. 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 And there. You basically want to add these in places you want to have sharp edges. So for example, now if I smooth that, we got the sharp edges. Looks like actually the bottom though is not as cooperative. So I think it's because the top has those lines right there. So let's see if we could create something similar without totally creasing up our objects. Don't want to have any unnecessary lines at the top, but it looks like we, we would if we did that. So how can we fix this? Probably by maybe adding one here. No. I'm going to work something out. Alright, I think um, I might just um, do it just like here. That way we can also keep this bottom because I noticed the whole bottom part of this was doing that same thing too. So if I press through to smooth this now, um, it's fixed. So there's that. I'm going to save this. And worry not, we don't have to do the same thing over there. So I'm actually just going to delete that. I'm going to select this and how about we actually smooth it. So I'm going to go to Mesh smooth and press G to double smooth that. And then the cool thing we're gonna do here is go to the top view. Let's press D. Oh, why is this not working? Why is it all the way over here? Alright, I'm gonna center the pivot. You can also do that by going to modify center pivot. And I'm gonna press D and then I'm gonna press X or hold down X at least and snap that to the middle of the grid. That way, kinda like what we did when we when we did that earlier, I can duplicate this and then just do that and make that negative one and then it will be like that and we can also then center the pivots again okay so this is not looking bad actually I actually really like it so I'm gonna end this longer episode off here and in the next episode we will go about creating the blade or at least most of it so thank you for watching please subscribe